Sadiqa from Bangladesh. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alaikum assalamu alaikum wa barakatuh. I'm having a problem in my marriage. Uh, we've been married for two and a half years. Uh, from the beginning, he told me to stay with my parents, and um, I stay with my parents. He said he don't want to do a job, he want to do a business. So he borrowed money from my father and from outside, and a couple of months, he lost all the money in some dumb business, I don't know. But I trust him. I obey this man any way I can. When he said that he has so many debts to pay, uh, he asks me for money. I give him my dowry money, my every single of gold. He told me to borrow money from people. I borrow money from people for him. He never, uh, but he never returned them on time. That uh, sometimes he even don't return on them. I need to make money to return people. This really tarnished my reputation. I lost my honor and dignity. I telling him to get a job, he's not listening. After one and a half year, I told him that I'm tired of this. I don't wanna be with you anymore. And he said to me that um, do what you think is best for you. Then um, I told him, um, I did what I think is best for me. I talked to my parents, my parents, um, we come to a decision that we should uh, file for a divorce. I inform him that I want to file for a divorce. Then he make a big scene. He come to my house, beg my father for a chance and beg me. What's, for what's your question, Sadiqa? This is a long story. What's your question? Sheikh, I will make it short. Please give me no, a No, no, I can't, I can't make it short. Have you gotten divorced? Yes or no? No, question. I'm... I'm in the point right now. You're what? Um, I, I will ask the push, uh, question now. Okay, I'm waiting. Um, I, um, in last month, I uh, caught him uh, stolen money from my uh, parents' uh, room, and um, he pretended to be uh, me and uh, borrow money from uh, my um, friend. I told him that this is enough. I don't want to be with you anymore. Let's get separated. Now he started begging and asking for a chance. He's telling me this will be last if I give him a chance. After uh, this, if I uh, caught him doing something, he will divorce me. He will listen to me. But I don't want to give him a chance. If Should this man uh, deserve a chance? Okay, I got your question. First of all, I knew it from the very beginning. You started to talk that this is the conclusion. We do this gazillion of times in counseling sessions, and it's the same pattern. They say, you fool me once, shame on you. You fool me twice, the shame is on me. You deserve everything what you're getting. With all due respect, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to rub it in, but come on. He's a gold digger. He's irresponsible. He's not a real man. He doesn't have a spine. No real man would come and take money from his wife. I see this in counseling sessions all the time. They borrow money from the wife. They buy a car. They want to, uh, uh, the, the wife to chip in in the expenses of the house to pay the bills. These are not real men. These are wimps. Now you as a woman for allowing this to happen not once, not twice, not three times, lots and lots of times to allow him to fool your relatives, your parents, your loved ones, your friends. You deserve this. Over what? Over someone who does not fear Allah Azza wa Jal. So my advice to you is to never ever give him a chance my advice is to immediately collect all the witnesses and the paperwork, take him straight to court, let them throw him in jail, because this is not a real husband. He's not a husband material, as they say. He's a gold digger. Well, he found the goose that lays the golden eggs. <laughs> Who is not interested in marrying someone like you? So I'm sorry for being a little bit harsh, 
but this is the rude and harsh and harsh and honest truth that you have to listen to. Terminate this marriage on immediate uh, uh, effect. Thank Allah Azza wa Jal that you did not conceive any children from him and that there are no strings attached and drag his backside to court.